Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 21 of our Let's Play series of Warhammer Adapters Mechanicus with the Heretic DLC. The last mission was a bit of a long one. We had our first tomb with three diamond encounters. So I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of the ones from the future are probably going to be a little bit like that. Uh, so be prepared for some longer episodes. We've got a decent bit of blackstone this time. So let's see if we can get some upgrades on the go. Let's see where all the guys are at first. So we've got 13... 13, 14, 15. So let's give these two another little upgrade first. So what we got there? Cognitive canisters. Cognitive canisters. Sanctus canister. No. Two ones. So we won't bother doing that one just yet. So we'll also start going down here, so let's do that one. She's got one spell augment slot now. Couldn't give him. He's already got a cognition stick and a little Coratio. Shall we maybe give him a bit of Coratio Claw? Or should we get something up here, do you reckon? Shall we get a scanner? Let's put a scanner up there. He's got a couple of different ways of harvesting some cognition. So let's do Jeremiah as well. We've got enough for more upgrade on him. Got any energy enhancers. What's that gonna give us? Three HP max and one energy armor. We've already got four HP and one physical armor. This climb is quite good. An extra energy armor would be quite handy to be able to take some range shots a bit better. I think we'll go for this one. We've only got one guy who's got this perk on the servo scale to collect mission points from one source. So he's also now got one free augment slot. What do we do? Go keep the energy enhancers up there. He's got a cognition stick. I think for him we're going to upgrade the Coratio Claw. Because we can. Now we've got two guys on the field with a better Coratio Claw. He's already on 15. He's on 15. Even though we can't afford one more upgrade, I think we're just going to hold fire on that for now, we do alright. Let's have a look what we've got coming up. So we've seen those two, we've seen that one, that's a new one. Cognition stick with three. I think we've already got those scanners, we get to two. Oh wow, okay. Level three, Vanguard Alpha, and another Tech Priest. That might have to be the way forward, especially as we've saved a bit of blackstone there. So after this run, we'll have a lot. We'll be able to get a good few upgrades on it. We'll just see, that's a nice reductor. That's two boss battles. Yeah, I think we've seen this one as well. But I definitely want to attack this one soon. But first things first, let's get ourselves a tech priest. That's got to be done, really. What we got? Bar guards. Lich Guards, Death Mark, Flayed One, Warriors. Hey, those Lich Guards. We'll be alright. So we've now got our one extra slot. So we'll do two servitors. Get the Vanguard in. Should we give him a try? I see level one, two, two, four damage, three, five. I think we'll use this guy, he's got a little bit more HP and shielding. This attack isn't much different.
Okay, so how many have we got on this one? We've got one optional, one diamond, just two. Okay. So I think we'll go up there, straight up to that one, and then see how we fare after that encounter. Whether we're going to backtrack and do that one to drop our awakening or not. Okay, so we're looking for Skitari Alpha in here. The cohort picks up human tracks in smeared blood, leading deeper into the tomb. Aware, proceed along the trail with caution, watching for perils and ambushes. Eager, follow the trail as quickly as possible. This might be a chance to catch up with the wayward Alpha. Or Averse, find a route parallel to the trail in case it's a trap laid by the Necrons. Mm. I think I'm going to go for Averse. Okay, not good. Awakening increased by three. The cohort moves alongside the trail, staying off the path itself. In doing so, they note the movements of nearby Necrons, also closing in on the trail. They do not find the Alpha at the end of it, but are able to skirt around the highest concentrations of Necrons as they continue on their way. So it's already brought Awakening up to one. We've only moved forward once. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. We can work out the right commands and we can read the rewards within. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin, the sparks of data leak through the age sealant used to contain the treasure within. We've got some HP on our guide that we didn't need. Dark, but let's get right in there. Oh crap, you haven't got that, did I? Oh, well. I did one, that's good. My reason was to get in this box so I could grab the black stone and get the melee combat on this guy, but I kind of did forget as well, clean past him. Yeah, we'll keep our reducer. Sneaky. Let's 
massive wrapping up for now. Done, dusted now. As you can see here, you can. So let's get those major enhancers on. Boost our damage a bit here. He's got a big old physical shield on him. Yeah, big old physical shield. I'm going to need to get him some energy. So let's backtrack a little bit. We've still got one left, so we do have a cheese in there. Get shot in this gun. to um, walk past our guy here and wait the opportunity attack. This guy is probably not going to do any damage, he's got such a big physical shield. It's still nice to get a cheap shot on him. Yeah, damage was good. Okay. What's he got left? Places before. We're not grab an enemy and zip them out. Got to make a march like me. There's going to be a bunch. Check the range first. Oh, yeah, he's right on the edge. So I can put that on. Don't know if it's going to do any damage. Oh, we don't even know what this guy's on, do we? It's the other one down there. It's got the big physical shield. He's only got two physical, that's brilliant. That's just what we want. start now. I've got enough formation to waste on the troop unit, yeah. She's that ship is death mark. Oh, I nearly 
got him. You should face shift down. physical shield, isn't it? So let's just get right next to it. Too far forward, I don't know what's going to get us. Don't want to have to keep healing. We've still got one of these we can get. Still got one of those two, two more of them. Oh, but we'll come back. See you around. It's just right there. I was going to use it get that one out of the way, but it's machine spirit charge. Don't really want to waste it just yet. right now. That gets it. Sure. No combination. I might just line the side there. We didn't have much of a choice.
Nice. I wasn't expecting that. Cool. I was just hoping to provoke him Niminari is going to give you opportunity so I'll work to tree. Let's get next to it first. Get an extra stabby stick on it. Yeah, no idea dudes. I'm not going to really get into melee combat unless we smash some run here. Just looks easy acting, so. So I've got the pistol charge here. This shit is horrible. I don't know if there's any more. I can I've got to get these two guys here as well. What a ridiculous spawn for them. Um, yeah, he's a melee combat there, isn't so, nice. he? Oh, he's a
this god snack in there, I can see him. Back up here. So let's just move him back to Smitch, so he doesn't come in dangerous. Do some moving to get in the range. Right, let's see if we can at least get this one that's going to um, reanimate with our little pistol. some good damage. Oh yeah. Nice critical shot there. Smashed it. The mass Guitari Alpha is hunched against the wall in front of you. He has ripped out his augmetics and one of his eye sockets is empty. It's a scene of gory horror. His breathing is laboured and he is filthy with blood. Poor chap. Execute. Execute the officer. He is beyond help and he represents far too serious a threat for the morale of the mission. Exercise. Try to exercise this madness with prayer. Or extract. Restrain the officer so he can be returned to the caster's metallicum. Yeah, I want to do that. I don't want to just just waste him. 
we can um, brainwash him and reprogram him, surely. The cohort rush the officer and are able to restrain him with neurocuffs without incident. He thrashes and screams as they try to drag him out of the tomb, and before they reach the tomb entrance, he dies of a total automatic organ co collapse. Ah, oh, poor guy. But, looks like we got an upgraded NGO enhancer off his body, and some blackstone, so it wasn't total loss. So what we on? Two. So let's backtrack down that one, that won't cost us anything. Let's see what happens in this room. A simple offering of rad rifle ammunition and ration packs lies at the foot of a tarnished statue that may represent Lord of Jal. Purge, destroy the offering and the statue. There must be no evidence left of this madness. Peruse, search through the offering for anything valuable. Or pray, counter the act of blasphemy with prayer. Don't want to pray? Peruse is interested, can maybe find something good in there? I think this time I'm not going to be greedy and go for loot. I'm going to go for purge. Of course, we've got three cognition points, lost a bit of health. The cohort makes short work of destroying the statue and the crude offerings. However, high yield rad rounds concealed within the pile of tributes ignite and hit the cohort with a burst of radiation too acute for the rad cleansers to filter out. The Alpha's madness is kept secret for now, but the cohort continue on the worst of the way. Yes, we should have been greedy there. But we had no new radical awakening, so I think we're just going to push on. I hope that this encounter doesn't drag on loads. Scan or destroy. Spin ourselves around a bit. Sam, we've got this one there. Yeah. Look at all these enemies. What's the chance that we're going to have to kill them all when we're scanned and destroyed? Okay, so should we try and do two up each side, I guess? We do have a little bit of cognition, so I think we'll get a vanguard in with this as well. Okay? <laughs> We've got the trick in it, so that's already got a buff. Let's see if we can use a scanner before we move out of here. Okay, so scan the first one. Love to destroy this terminal, but with all these guys right here, we need to start laying some damage down. So we've got physical shields, so we know we can get an energy attack. That should do pretty good. Six. That was definitely pretty good. Now, how much of a physical shield do we have on the shells? We're doing our four six. Okay, it's gonna hold fire with that one then. There's an eight or something, isn't it? I'm going to risk that this shot is going to do all the damage we need and then that will save my energy or enhancement. Last pistol to lay into him. Alright, there we go. Bit of a gamble. It's a 
to get his stats revealed. And, well, hopefully do a bit of damage, but no, he's got seven energy armor. Blimey. Well, that means he's going to suck the physical attacks. Get out of first. Heals 8 to 10, and we can afford to take another hit before we heal. Yeah, no one's likely to shoot him, possibly death mark. Yeah, it's our last encounter, so let's just risk it. I think we'll be okay. Can you get all the way through there? You can. I'll take shots at this guy here. If I shoot him again, he's gonna come and slash us. We're not too tough. Poor Vanguard guy. Three damage, that's okay, we can live with that. Buddies behind him. Let's just move our guy out of the way there, I think. No, let's push on. And get the black stone from there. I think we might be able to kill this guy. Ooh, we don't have to kill all enemies. We do have to get through a massive wave of them. Gonna nearly do the job there. Yep. Let's carry on with the strike. Pokey stick. Got pokey stick. Yep. Anything else?
quite miracles. I don't think this goes wide enough. Let's definitely do some damage on these guys. Technically, I can just push him all the way up. So he avoids all opportunity attacks. Now, is there any more cognition? Yeah, no. So he's going to have to hold by there, I think. Definitely needs a heal. Like his buddy has also got me on Overwatch. Crap sticks. Uh, can I use that? No. Kidding. I really want to use that to shoot the other death mark, but he's not overwatching me anymore, so it's not really any point. Let's use that one. It's free. I've only got two cogs. These guys, it's getting really hard for these guys to push up here. I think I'm just going to have to make a move on this dish guard, really. shot left so we're going to try and take this camera right there. So I was trying to rush up 
to the exit before I got to three. That's actually giving me a little bit of a, a little bit of breathing room for a couple more turns. Play it a little bit slow with these guys. as well, that would have been great. What's that target? Can't move until the end of its turn now. Oh wow, we can over out of range soon, so that's not going to be true. Oh, Baseball. Still got eyes on it. No. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Don't have any mission or servo scar. Okay, I'm just going to have to sit there. Reasonably resilient, a little tricky in it. A little bit of armor, but it's doing good. Smanaris so doesn't need to do this, he's already in the extraction zone, but he's got the, the, uh, the legs that give him all sorts of extra movement. So we're going to get him in and out here. Give this guy a bit of a ball. Yeah, he's not going to bother anyone now. I think I'm still going to have enough movement. There we go. Get back inside now. It didn't even cost us one cognition. Not for the movement anyway. Um, yeah, it's leaving there. I don't want to use the healing can to go on. He's only got a few, a few heads pulled down. We'll get one serve to him just to fodder up with this guy. Stripped his armor down nice. That deals damage. Three turns left, two turns left, two turns left. Just use it against him. Knock an extra one off of him. Right, I think I'm going to heal this guy with the council. I think I'll take another shot off of him. damage. I'm sure he might die before then, but I've still got my vanguard about somewhere. Um, go back here. So he's going to be able to do some good. Carefully here so as to try and avoid opportunity attacks. And I think I'm going to be cheeky. See if we can provoke opportunity attack. At least one of these. I might get both. 
There you go, don't need both. That's what we're talking about. Get in the safe zone. Rather than Zach and Tom out of the way. That's him done. So that. Didn't really need to do it, but. Feels good. I want to concentrate on just the service. It's only the troop units that I have to extract. Uh, tech priest rather, so keep him lying around out here somewhere. Just one of it really. And which one of these can heal him? Let's get help restored on everyone. Don't want to lose any blackstone now. Get some more cognition, just make sure we've got enough of those guys. Alright, that's our last one. Yeah, we've only got one more. So that's the troop unit as well. Just because we can. Get an extra few points out of this, and why not? We'll still get this guy in on this round, so we're still going to be under three. That's all that really counts. Get those bonus points. And then, run away! Run away! Alpha's corpse is carried out of the tomb by the cohort. In a sheltered clearing nearby, the body is doused in Prometheum and burned. No trace of the Alpha's madness remains, and the matter is treated from then on as though it never occurred. We're all a little bit sad of this, but war is war and things have to be done. the Emperor and the Underside. Look at that. Didn't lose anything today. Kept all our troop units alive. Only had a two. That's a pretty good result. Now we're going to end up with the Blackstone. Oh yeah, we've got a new Tech Priest. Oh yeah. New camp's called Tutelage of Momentum, plus 15 movement for one round. That's a lot of movement. And we've got the Neftusk Sector located. A sense of monumental muscular power fills the tomb. It is a deafening industrial sprawl, echoing the forge worlds of the Adeptus Mechanicus, but unmistakably alien. Its inner workings and architecture are laid open to see. Pipework and support beams span the spaces between hulking masses of machinery. The air is heavy and hot with steam, and tastes of leaking fuel. From everywhere comes the grinding din of huge engines underfoot while pistons hammer endlessly. 
Canoptic labour constructs continue to assemble new areas and structures locked in a constant cycle of rebuilding. Columns of scarab constructs repair and remake. It would be folly to assume they are the only inhabitants. Ooh. Super creepy super necron tomb. There we have it guys. Uh, just about managed to bring that one in under an hour. We've got a whole load of blackstone to spend on our fresh new tech priest. Let's see. Gotta go to the cohort, have we? There we go, we've got Major's Tauf now. Awesome. So we get to spend lots of points on him tomorrow. Get him upgraded a bit. And then we'll probably... Yeah, I guess we'll go do another boss encounter. Or get the other heretic one done now. We've got um, a bigger cohort. We can take more in with us. We've got more tech priests. More butt kicking. So I hope you all enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leave some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.